Buongiorno, YouTube hunters. Brad gets me here. Out in the shop, working late at night on this uh, workshop workshop topper. I showed you the other day the um, thing that's going to go in front of this workshop workbench. I'm sorry, um, to make it look like a furnace. And then this is kind of going to be a seat that um, Burstuk, my demon prop, will sit on. And basically, I just took a piece of um, eight foot long uh, shelving, which was like a seven dollar piece of wood, and I cut it in half. And then I used um, some two by four, which you can't see here because it's underneath these skulls, on there and there to connect the two pieces of wood. And it almost fits perfectly on top of my workshelf workbench, um, which is a huge mess. But whatever, um, and this is the the seat basically that Burstuk will be sitting in. So I just wanted to quickly discuss sort of how this went together. First step, have beer. There's no such thing as haunting that doesn't involve beer. Don't argue with me about that. That's just the way it is. Brand doesn't matter. I drink all kinds. So um, basically, these are a bunch of different foam skulls out of my skull mold. And what I did was um, use um, a larger chunk of just uh, cheap throwaway styrofoam that someone was uh, throwing away and uh, used uh, two-part epoxy, bang, to glue that kind of as like a vertical column um, here along the piece of 2x4, which is gluing these uh, pieces of wood together. And then uh, that gave me kind of some height. And then I was able to put skulls on top of that using um, short wooden doweling or you could use skewers to kind of like just basically physically anchor it into the foam where you want it and then start using great stuff to build up uh, a seal kind of around it. Um, now one thing, uh, so anyways I, I just did that over and over again. I put some of my PVC candles embedded into the kind of sculpture here. Um, I don't like the way that's looking right now. I have to shape that a little bit. But um, the thing about great stuff is I was originally going to just use the great stuff as to fill in the body and then I was going to paper mache around here to get some nice details. But you know what? Time is short and I just decided you know what my life would be a lot easier if I saved that step. So the one thing I kind of don't like about great stuff is the way it just bulls. It, it 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 cures out into these really bulbous forms that just looks like great stuff. So one of the tricks that I use, which you may or may not like, is uh, basically as the foam is at a certain stage, you can't do this when it's too early because if you try and touch the foam too early on and it's expanding or it's cure, you'll just collapse the foam. But when it's reached a certain level, you can kind of put a popsicle stick in and start to drag it around and get shapes, like sinewy kind of um, extensions of the foam. And it doesn't just, it doesn't, it doesn't look so bulbous. Um, you can see all this detail in here. It's just by dragging the foam with the end of a popsicle stick. And um, it's nice. It, does, it just stops it from looking so much like great stuff. And in many places this does just look like great stuff. But um, it's a trick that I like. Um, again, you have to experiment and make sure you're, using, you're, you're going at it at the right time. But um, overall, I'm pretty happy with the way this is going. Uh, this is going to be a black light room. Again, so the paint job is going to be very fun uh, with the black light. I put some plastic chain that I um, ordered a couple years ago and forgot to use kind of kind of embedded into this sculpt kind of wrapping around things and that's a straight Davis graveyard uh, influence. I was looking at some of their amazing work today and they use rope kind of wrapped around a lot of their um, skull things that they did at least this donation box I was looking at and I thought it was brilliant, so I used some chain here, um, and I kind of oh so cleverly tacked it on with some great stuff in certain places so it wasn't going to move on me. 
Um, I'm using Rust-Oleum uh, uh, cold galvanizing compound on the recommendation of uh, Craig from Helizondo. You can spray that onto at least this dense foam, this foam at three that I've used on um, from my skull mold, and it doesn't eat the foam really, and even the great stuff, it didn't really eat it. Um, at least with the light misting that I gave it. Um, so I'm going to continue to prime this whole surface. Again, Burstuk's butt is going to go right there. And um, he'll be sitting on this workbench. And uh, it won't be such a huge mess on Halloween. It'll be kind of a decorative space. And the furnace thing that I showed you is going to be there. And yada, yada, yada. So anyways, I've shown you enough of the mess at my workshop. Uh, hope you're all having an equally productive evening out in the shop. But make sure you have beer. It doesn't work if you don't have beer. Talk to y'all soon. Happy hunting.